Meanwhile, in Dubai, Hunter x Hunter episode 28. Gon and Kluwa just out here smashing adults, wreaking havoc. One thing I was wondering about later is Gon seems really shocked by his powers. And admittedly, I'm shocked by his level of strength. I mean, it could just be that that's the result of the Hunter exam, but could also be something else. I don't know. I guess this is where we get into the power stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Bumbled it again, Leorio, aka Leo Leo. Oh yeah, another series, another power system to butcher. <laughs> Here we go. But for real, I'm proud of Kalua. Nen X and X Nen. Now they're almost pulling a Megumi and killing everyone. He lurked his way right into their lives. We have my attention now. <laughs> Nen, burning in your soul, strength of will. Okay, I'm here for it. I'm Kalua. Wait, 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 I'm not over Nen yet. <laughs> he said we shouldn't get it piecemeal, and now he's giving it to us piecemeal. This is going to be an hour long episode. Okay, okay, okay. Oof. So I guess Nen is the overarching category. Nen is the system. Jokes aside, this is really exciting. I, I can tell there's a lot behind it already. Good luck. <laughs> nah, it's probably actually really powerful. Focus on your ego and will. Your soul. From intent comes power. I trust Kilua's reaction to be the barometer of the, the power. He knows. Oh, he just ghosted. I feel like Gon has a lot of Ren then, or Nen as a whole. Sorry, this probably doesn't make for a great video to watch me just struggle with this, especially if you already know the system really well, but I want to get it right this time. Oh, he's rattled. Kulu is going through changes right now, his, his mind is working. I don't know what to think about this guy yet. He's demonstrated that. Right, he went by TKO, not knockout. It's really interesting that Kilo won, but in a way it's a loss. It's a burning question. I mean, I feel like a really good teacher probably wouldn't give it all away right there on a whiteboard in the first lesson. <laughs> like I said, I don't know what to think of Zushi's teacher. I get like sinister vibes from him. Maybe he's just awkward. Maybe it's the fact that he always seems to be lurking. But to give him the benefit of the doubt, this is not learning calculus or gardening or something. This is a dangerous art. It feels like while Kalua is assessing the teacher, the teacher is assessing Kalua. And I think that even speaks to his advice about focusing on ten, their their intent, their will, if I'm getting that right. It's a trope that comes up now and then, right? You save the ultimate killing art for the students that are ready. An example of that if you guys have seen Kill Bill, is Pai Mei's five-fingered uh, palm strike of death or whatever. And in much more benign areas of life, I've experienced this concept where people ask me for advice in certain areas. Like, for example, I get a lot of requests for helping people invest. And it's like, I can't really give you the answer because the answers that I've come to are not formed in a vacuum. They're very specific to me, my outlook and my needs. You would have to like develop that organically yourself in order to do it well, I think. And I can't give that to you directly. What I can do is teach you the basics. And the best thing that could happen is you like command those elements and you make your own thesis that you feel 
feel really good about, that you're now independent, that you're, you don't need the teaching. Same thing with talking about moral outlook. Like, it doesn't really do that much for me to give someone a moral outlook or anyone for that matter. Even if our conclusions are the same, like even if someone just adopts a moral philosophy as a whole, even if it's exactly the same in like stated belief, it's fundamentally different depending on what it's backed up by, like how deeply and richly it's understood and felt. All anyone can do is provide the building blocks and like part of the beauty, part of the power comes from getting there on your own. Not sure how much any of that is related, but yeah, my 10 is unstable. I have all this 10, but still got beat to crap in the tournament. Oh, he did lie. All that effort I put into that explanation. Yeah, yeah, that's... Oh, I see. Different meaning. Uh, maybe optimistically that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean the caution makes sense. I wonder what this dude's deal is and backstory. His cans don't stand a chance. I feel like I've seen that done with cards. Let's hope for us all. Alright, so far, fair enough. Fair enough. It's alright, just get back in there and earn your 120 yen or whatever. You are paid in soda, fundamentally. Oh yeah, they're superstars. So far, we haven't even seen them be challenged, unless you count Zushi. Yeah, Liorio missed a huge chance to come here and make bank betting on Kalua. It's a lot of talk. It's a lot of talk. Push it is. Does this guy have abs on his back? <laughs> fair, I'm speaking of fair enough. Juiced. Speaking of juice. This guy looks like he was randomly generated from an assortment of known characters. Shock. At a certain point, does Gon start to feel like weird about this? That it's this easy? Is it even satisfying? I guess there's a chance they fight each other at some point too, right? There he is again, just popping up out of nowhere. Why is he never just like there from the beginning? He always has to appear into frame. Do you think he walks off? What is he doing? Where is he? He's always so close, but... Don't worry, just wait for his next line of dialogue. <laughs> I really don't know what to make of this guy. Honestly, I feel like... I mean, Kalua's path here is really exciting, but I feel like Gon could really benefit from having a discipline. Alright, I feel like this is where we start getting introduced to other characters. We've exited NPC territory. Sure, let's go into the, the purple haze. This is the teacher? She looks tired. The hell was that? Well, that works for Gon. I'll admit, I thought most of Gon's power came from his fishing pole until this arc. I also feel like this might be where we begin to see challenges for them from their competitors that are not just like fighting in the arena. The stakes are really high here. This is the level at which people are really driven. And I think the higher up you go into things, a lot of the time, the more you're fighting multiple fronts because people become increasingly willing to cheat, take shortcuts, gain an edge any way they can. <gasps> is it? Is it? Oh! Oh, I know, I know that outline. Oh, he did show up. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Oh, do you have the will going? Yo. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, yeah, makes total sense. I mean, they're on the same path, all of them. That's why they're, you know, they're in the hunter, hunter exam together. Why wouldn't they also be in the tournament together? And then, yeah, add to that the fact that they're his targets. Damn, he hacks too? Doesn't look like the type, but okay. 
And that's actually helping them. Saving them. Uh, you look better without it. It was him. Wow, he's that powerful. Just psychic blast. With no effort. This feels like an RPG where you gotta learn the, the skill. You gotta get the HM. To get th through the obstacle. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. Yeah. Gohan's interest in this probably just skyrocketed. Oh, and our, we lose our room when we get paid in soda. It's a lot of rules for, for a contest that required like no ID, no anything. Look, I got the energy. Give him the chance. We've passed time challenges before. Oh, this is uh, definitely gonna have a, a real life and deep parallel. They were never going to lack talent. That's really cool too. One parallel I can already think of with the system is a general skill of, for lack of a better word, awakeness, awareness. The more you realize and focus on the fact that you are a lever that you can crank, the greater the speed at which you can crank the lever. This is a weird analogy, but for example, if you have no idea that you can grow in certain ways or that you have free will or that you are responsible for your own life, that thoughts are things that can be observed and detached from and altered, that actions are consciously chosen in a very important sense you're blind or asleep and the more you focus on it the more you practice it that kind of awareness and like heightened sense of self and heightened sense of action heightened focus on environment the more you start to see other people and where they are to Kalua's point about the more powerful you become the more you understand other people's power levels and there is a way that you can abuse that recently i've been rereading the works of robert green who focuses a lot on like deliberate human interaction and some would call it manipulation for me i love reading his books because the takeaway for me is not about how do i manipulate others it's like what are the mechanisms by which people work because the more clear i am on the mechanisms the more i feel resilient and protected from danger because I can recognize it. To not think about it or focus on it at all or realize that human dynamics are complex and that people are, are like consciously trying to get at you or, or coerce you or whatever, at least some people, you're kind of putting blind faith in others not to come in and use you for their own selfish aims. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Right. You learn the power to kill so that you're not killed. And you have to eat, at least know it or be able to speak its name. That just that brings it into focus. That was unnecessary. We believed you already, but that's going to cost you a lot of soda. Okay, Wing. In Wing, we trust for now. In three hours. <laughs> no pressure. I'm so glad it's Okus here, it's so cool. These lead-ins of the, the outro are so great, so perfect. These guitar riffs, the more I hear the song, the more I love it. Man, that was such a cool episode. I actually feel excited for the, the power system. I'm glad it seems to have a corollary to real life. I'm guessing I'm going to refine my ideas on it a lot as I learn more about it. But right now, the, the starting point and end point resonate with me. It's like just beginning with consciousness kind of and self-awareness. What is your will? What is your focus? How deliberate is your consciousness? And then the end point is action with steps in between. Like, uh, this is just a wild guess, but moderation, reason. Come to think of it, it's such a Gonan Kalua thing that Without question, they're pressing ahead and doing all this. The 200th floor, despite earning no money, even when there's really no clear benefit to doing so. And the potential risk is their lives, but they just can't not do it. It's not about the beds. It's not about the money. It's not about being soda rich. It's about pushing it to the highest level of excellence. This might be the arc where Gon punches Hisoka in the face. It also might be the arc where they, hard to explain, but become fully conscious actors. <laughs> What's our English word of the day? Admittedly, this is a really important time for terms. And it's Wing San. Wing San, great. You, and he also lurks 
He's a lurker. Come to think of it, he <laughs> showed up again at random in Hisoka's hallway. Yeah, I love it. I love this whole thing. I love where it's going. I might be totally off, but I love thinking about this in terms of what I was talking about with the like the conscious focus, how much you see. There's so many unknown unknowns, and it's interesting how putting a name to it, call, calling attention to it, like reveals all these ghosts that you haven't seen before that are that have been there the whole time. They've been lurking. It's like you're suddenly seeing a whole new realm or whole new dimension of reality that's been there the whole time. It's really exciting. It also begs the question, right? Like if there are degrees of awareness, what level are you on? What are you not seeing? How deep is there to go? What are the unseen things that are still ruling you? Not because you know, you're know you weak or not intelligent enough to understand them just because you've never had an introduction to the thought at all. And there are so many different levels to it too, right? Like there's some things that you have, you know, you have a grasp of it, but it's not articulated or not clear enough. But then just one instance of you putting it into words or you just see something that mirrors, you know, a thought that's lurking inside of you it clicks into into tangible reality. That's often what I experience watching these shows. And I also see this reflected a lot in comments where it's like, I'm glad this was put into tangible form because it's been there inside of me this whole time. Other things are just totally unknown unknowns. And then maybe perhaps darkest of all, some of them are things that we're like willingly turning a blind eye to because of the discomfort it brings. <laughs>